Welcome to Computer Science 320 2014 Winter 2's Midterm 2 Practice Problem Screencast. We've moved on to Problem 4. Note that I skipped Problem 3 because that was on the previous practice problem, so we've got a screencast for that already. Problem 4 is doctoring the Master Theorem, and we're answering the questions below about this recurrence right here. t of n is equal to 2t of the floor of log n plus c times n when n is greater than 16, and it's equal to 1 when n is less than or equal to 16. Uh, so we've got a slew of base cases here. Right? We've got n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, everything up to 16. And, and by the way, uh, we've talked about this before, but it's worth mentioning again, for almost any function we're going to deal with, if we need more base cases, if we need 17 to be a base case, you can just plug in 17 and you'll find that it's also a constant, as is every other constant n works out to a constant amount of time spent on the problem. So why can't we just say everything's constant? Well, that's, that's not true as n grows, right? But if you need a base case of a particular size, you've got it. Now, uh, this does talk about the Master Theorem in the title. There's no guarantee that we're actually going to be working on the Master Theorem, but it's worth noting that the Master Theorem does not directly apply here because this log of n, this is not of that form that we need t of n over b, right? This does not look like that. Log of n is quite different from n over b. So we're not going to be able to directly apply the Master Theorem. Uh, throughout the problem, we do get to ignore floors and ceilings, though, so that's kind of handy. Next video, we will move on to the individual parts.